Big Bertha is down. <laughs> All right, y'all, so went in the bathroom, took care of my business, took a shower, brushed my teeth, all that good stuff that I told y'all before. Got back in the truck. The truck tried to do a regen, go through a regen. And what do you know? Check engine light pop back on. So, we back stuck again, trying to figure out what we got going on. So I'm gonna show y'all what this code is reading. So that y'all will know what I was telling y'all yesterday what this code is reading. See right there, we got one active, one active. Engine two, FMI one. Emission system problem, 25% D-rate, all right? Diagnostic code, SPN 2631 FMI1. That's what we got. So, it got something to do with this EGR. I did some research on it last night as I was, you know, sitting there doing my research. Well, that didn't make sense. But y'all know what I'm saying. I was doing some research on it last night. And, um... Uh, what I found was it got something to do with the EGR valve. It, it could be a numerous amount of things, but mostly with these trucks, it's mostly the EGR valve is clogged. So uh, you have to take that whole pipe off, get all that, that soot, that built up uh, soot up out of there. And basically the reason that it's doing, trying to do a regen is because it's trying to get all of that stuff, you know, hot and burn it out of there. But that stuff is like hard coal and it's stuck in between the pipes, so it won't allow the airflow to go through. Only so much airflow can go through. So I'm hoping that's what it is. We're gonna try to get this check engine light to go out. If we can get this check engine light to go out, we can get the D-rate from, from uh, off, this, off the system. And then we can try to limp our way on down to where you know we need to go and to get to. So I'll keep you guys posted along the way. You know what I'm saying? Keep me in your prayers. So yeah, we got the check engine light to go off. So now, just the engine light still on again. So, and it's cold out here too. It's 15 degrees. Good Lord, look at this. Check this out. 15 degrees. 15. Ooh, engine light still on. But hey, we gonna try to limp our way. Try to limp our way to uh, Get some service done all right y'all so we made it over here to get this load off so at least we didn't miss out on you know having to miss out on the pay for this load engine light still on so me and zach we out here trying to get unloaded and the guy done told us both that we can get this same door right here once this truck pull out <laughs> makes no sense to me so me and him lined up side by side. That's my truck. Here's his truck. So we both trying to get in the dock. Right there. Zoom in, let y'all see. And this guy done told us that we can get in, both get in this same dock, eight o'clock. He got an eight o'clock appointment, I got an eight o'clock appointment. Yep. How you feel about that, Zach? Well. I got the better end of the deal because I get paid different, so. Right. You get paid by the hour, huh? Yep. That's right. That's yep. right. So how long you been trucking, Zach? Uh, this is my sixth month, actually. Okay. So do you like it? Oh, yeah. Yep. At okay. first, it was, it was a little hard for the transition, but. Right, right. I love it now. So you a company driver? Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. So when you first started out, what was, what was, what was your main objective? What was your goal? Uh... Just to get the task done without messing anything up, you know. Truckers have a lot of a lot of different rules and cars to do. Right. So, you know, I want to get the job different. done and not break anything, not, you know. Right. Accident free. Right. A lot of different responsibilities and all of that. Yep. Yep. So, do you plan on getting your own truck and running your own business one day? Or? Well, eventually, yeah. I mean, I don't know what the future looks like in trucking, you know. Right. 
go in a lot of different ways as far as trucks go and the government, you know? Right, but right. as far as right now, if I could, I probably would. Right. So do you think that one day trucks will be autonomous? Or do you think, think that's so. not possible? I don't think so. I just don't know what route as far as emissions, the EPA. I know they're starting to combine diesels with electric motors. Right. And But I don't. I don't think there's any way that it'll be history. Right, right. And I've seen, well, you know, they got some simulations where, you know, basically you could sit at home and drive the truck. Mm-hmm. I've uh, heard of that. You, what, what, what you think about that? I hope it's not in my lifetime. I know, right? <laughs> that, that could be real dangerous. And yeah. you see, last week, last week they passed a bill where basically now you could put teenagers on the road. Mm-hmm. 18 years and older can cross state lines. Yeah. How you feel about that? Um, well, they say for the first 130 hours or six months, something like that, you have to be with a 25-year-old experienced driver. Right. Um, I mean, I think that could be fine, but I don't know. I've been, I went to a trucking school and I've seen other people. I was the youngest in my class. And right. I was the one teaching everyone. Right. So it's like, I mean. So some of the older guys couldn't even get it, huh? Exactly. You know? Right. So age don't really have nothing to do with it. I guess I it's the really mindset. So. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Well, hey, good to meet you, Zach. You too. You know what I mean? As yeah. always, welcome to the Flair Experience. Yeah. Appreciate you know, it. and uh, you be safe out there. You too. But yeah, we fixing the fuel up right quick. Get back with y'all in a set. Grab us a bite to eat. Alright y'all, so we made it down here to Kentucky. Gratefully, gracefully, thankfully, you know what I mean? We made it down here to Kentucky. And uh we getting ready to go ahead and get us a workout at this at the Planet Fitness. We getting ready to go ahead and get us a good workout, take us a good shower, lay it down, and then we're gonna try to limp on down, limp on down. We're trying to make it down to uh, South Carolina. We're trying to make it down to South Carolina. So, uh, y'all stay tuned, man. All right, run away, child. Yeah, we are.